we're going to be looking at some more of neat things about pascal's triangle and today we're going to be looking at the hockey stick identity which basically says that if you start from a border and you make this sort of hockey shape where this is the handle of the hockey and this is the blade of, of the hockey stick so this is the handle of the hockey stick and the end the end number which is 10 is the blade of the hockey stick it basically says that the if you add up the elements in the handle so 1 plus 3 plus 6 it will be equal to the element in the blade which is 10 so all i'm doing is that i'm starting i'm starting at the border of the triangle and then i'm moving diagonally up to some point i can go on and on until some point where instead of continuing on the same diagonal i go down a different diagonal which basically gives me an l shaped or a hockey shape and the interesting result about this is that if i add all of these this will equal will, will be equal to the element in the blade which can be formally written as this as shown here that r choose r plus r plus 1 choose r r plus 2 choose r is equal all the way to some f is equal to let me erase this is equal to f plus 1 choose r plus 1 so here for example i've given the example that we start from 2 choose 2 which is this we go up to 4 choose 2 which is something like this so this should equal this and we can see this is true now in order to make sense of this what i'm going to do i'm going to take a concrete example let's say we have six elements a b c d e f and i want to make sets of three so i want six so all the diff the number of sets that there will be will be equal to six c three now if i am not a complete maniac what i would do is i would first start from i would first choose some element let's say a and then of course i do a b c so this is one combination but what i would basically do is i would fix that a in its place and i would keep changing the rest of it so for example if i want to find all the combinations that contain a what i would do is first a b c and then a b d and then a b e and then a b f then i do this for a c and so on so the combinations of the combinations that contain the element a will be a b c a b d a b e a b f and now we move on to a c d a c e a c f and then we have a d e a d f and then finally we have a a e f sorry a e f right so these are all the combinations that contain that element a now since now I, since the rest of the combination won't contain an a i can cut it out and now i will move on to the next element that is b so i have b c d b c e b c f b d e sorry b d e b d f b e f so these are all the combinations that contain b that, that these are all the combinations with the element b in them but not the element a in them so now if we move on to the second step what we have now that we are done with a we're done with b we move on to c we now would have c d e c d f c e f now we are done with c and then finally we have d e f and this is the end of it so these are all the possible combinations. given that i have six elements and i have to choose three of them these are all the sets that i can make and this is a very systematic way of listing them you know if, if someone told me to list all the combinations given that i have these elements this is how i would go about it because it's very systematic and you you know you can follow it through so if we really look at what we are actually doing here these are all the combination that start with the element and i'm saying start just because it's easier to but in combination order doesn't really matter so these are all the these are all the combinations that contain the element a which means that out of the five remaining element i have to, to choose two so this is five choose two now if we if I, if I look at the second line of it this these are all the combinations that do not contain an a and must contain the element b so i have six elements i cannot include element a so that's the remaining five 
and of the five i have already choose b in its fixed place so out of the remaining four i am choosing two and by the similar logic here i cannot choose a i cannot choose b and i must start with a c in other words the number of combinations here is 3c2 and finally we reach 2c2 and that's where we stop in other words what we have really reached the fact that 6c3 is equal to 5c2 plus 4c2 plus 3c2 plus 2c2 which is what we wanted so if i generalize this for any ncr first i start with the combination that contain a specific element let's say element a from the n minus 1 i must choose r minus 1 and then on the next step i completely eliminate the a and then i focus on another element so one element is eliminated i am left with n minus 1 out of the n minus 1 i must choose one of the elements so i really have a choice from n minus 2 numbers and elements and i have to from those i have to choose r minus 1 so this logic continues on until i eventually reach r minus 1 choose r minus 1 and that's basically one so that's where i stop and this is where we have proven the identity of the hockey stick so another way to looking at this is basically saying that we know that in the pascal's triangle the way we got this 10 was by adding up this 4 and this 6 that's literally how the pascal's triangle works now so this 10 is made up of this 6 and this 4 doesn't really matter but let's say i choose to go here now if i want to connect this you know if, if i'm going to the left side and i sort of want to connect this what i can say is okay so this four over here is made up of this three and this one so i can connect this six to this three and again we repeat the process that this one would be made up of this one plus this zero so i eventually get zero in other words if i add up all of these numbers they are equal to this number 10 and we are done of course if you i i just chose an example of this but if you were to gen this would this is an easy pattern to see that you know you can generalize that okay this sort of makes sense so this was the pascal pascal triangles hockey stick it um, seems quite a natural natural thing in it a natural identity and uh, yeah that's all for today q e d